I want you to be very aware of one narrative that pops up over and over and over again. It's this idea that no one is talking about taking your guns away. But you should know that anytime someone says they're not talking about taking your guns away, what they mean is they're talking about taking your guns away. Yeah, they should the not tell everything they're going to do. Like, if you're going to take people's guns away, wait till you get elected, then take the guns away. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome back, folks. Well, there you have it from the horse's ass. How long have those of us on the right been warning that the Democrats want to take your guns and yet the entire time the media has flatly denied it? I've seen countless media segments where the supposedly objective reporter swears that it's all just right-wing fear-mongering. I roll my eyes every time I see it and it just adds to my distrust of these people. What they say is if you don't make everything available, uh, eventually you're getting to a place where they will take away your guns. And that's where the insanity is. No one is, is uh, uh, questioning your right uh, to have a gun. We're not talking about taking guns away from people. Nobody's taking away anybody's guns. It's not that I want to take away people's guns. The left's desire to take our guns has been obvious for quite a long time. And while it's popular on the left, it's clearly not a winner nationwide. Francis O'Rourke was the first one to openly declare his plans for gun confiscation, but he was also one of the first to drop out. Beta's departure from the race has prompted some in the media to actually suggest that Democrats be more deceptive about their more extreme policies such as gun confiscation until after the election like if you're going to take people's guns away wait till you get elected then take the guns away <laughs> don't tell them ahead of time which by the way that's what that's what people like me think you're gonna do oh my god why do I put myself through this? Imagine having the arrogance to sit in her position of privilege and openly call for politicians to be dishonest about the policies they want to enforce against law-abiding citizens. Oh yes, Joy Bear is so anti-gun, yet she has armed security and has no problem with an armed government carrying out her wishes. And I believe thanks to the election of Donald Trump, these people have left no mysteries about their intentions. Hell yes, we're going to take your AR-15. <laughs> I think one of the things that's so maddening about this open desire to criminalize half the country is that it's being pushed by people who have no idea what they're talking about. Behar and the gang regularly spread misinformation and it leaves me wondering if they're not just doing it on purpose. For example, Bear once claimed that the purpose of a silencer is to shoot someone without anybody hearing it. They want to put a silencer on the, on, now that is when you shoot someone to kill somebody yeah. and you don't want anybody to hear you. For one, a silencer, or also known as a suppressor, does not make a gun silent. The purpose of a suppressor is to reduce the acoustic intensity of a gunshot. A gun owner might want this for many reasons. The most obvious, to protect your hearing. If you're shooting a lot for recreation, the repeated gunshots can take a toll on your hearing. If you're defending your home and you have to shoot the gun inside, the reverberating sound can damage your hearing even more. Another common misconception spread by these harpies and the mass media at large is that semi-automatic is the same as fully automatic. Now those are single shots. If I wanted to fire this on full semi-automatic. If I wanted to fire this on full semi-automatic. For these people, it's just an interchangeable term. It's one of those things that the media should definitely know by now and leads me to believe that they're spreading the misinformation on purpose. This just popped up on my Twitter feed this morning. And thankfully, they're getting ratioed pretty hard the last time I looked. How does a network that's so concerned with, quote, getting it right, make a stupid mistake like this? The answer is they don't. It's done on purpose. Well, let me. Well, do you want to define to me what here. an assault rifle is? Just I'm, define it. Anyone at the like table? A, it looks like a machine gun. That uh, kill machine a lot of guns have been banned. Here's the deal. Here's the deal. See what I mean? When they get corrected, they just dismiss it as some minor detail that you're nitpicking about. If you're gonna take away people's rights, you better damn well know what you're talking about. I've seen firsthand how this misinformation turns people into angry morons who freak out the second you suggest that they're factually incorrect. I, I personally think that uh, assault rifles should no longer be made or sold. Well, are you talking about like an automatic, like an assault rifle, fully automatic? Sure. Well, they're not fully. They're semi-automatic. Okay. I yeah. mean, semi-automatic is one pull trigger, one shot, exactly. which is what most guns are, whether it be a pistol or a rifle or... Um, well, 
Yeah, the only other option would be a three uh, three burst, uh, three round burst, which again is with an assault rifle. You can't get that on a uh, on a on a regular what you would call an assault weapon, is what most people are usually referring to. Well, I mean, depending on your shotgun ammo or your pistol, your revolver. Ammo, I'm not here to something. argue particulars like this. I'm not here to argue those kind of particulars. When you say assault weapon, like what all guns are you talking about? AR-15s, AK-47s. I'd like to see big magazines banned also. Mm -hmm. Okay. No point in those. No point in those except mass murder. I mean, do you know that... Um, and then and then among other people that think that somehow our government's going to attack them someday. This, this can't keep happening. Gun violence, police violence, it's all in the same. The police running around here with assault weapons now. We trying to ban them. Does that mean they got to get theirs up too? That's what I want to know. No, they will not. <laughs> and I've I've said enough to you. Okay, well, I've said enough to you, right. sir. I appreciate your time, though. You seem kind of angry. Because 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 you're trying to go into all these little details. Well, these are facts. Oh, I, you know what? They're they're inconvenient no. to what you're no, doing. No, no, they're not. No, they're not. Okay. They're nitpicking. Lastly, I just want to point out a similar suggestion that Democrats be deceptive about their intentions from a CNN pundit a few months ago. Allison Camerata suggested that Democrats come up with a new word for socialism since socialism is such a tainted word. I kid you not. It is mind-boggling how these supposed heroes of truth and justice will openly discuss their desire to deceive the American people. These women are socialists. That's what people should be ups upset about. That's what the president should be talking about. They're socialists. Do you think that Democrats are making a mistake, tactically, because you're a strategist, of allowing themselves to be branded as socialists, not coming up with some sort of new name. You might hate Trump, but at least you know what you're getting with him. He has no filter and is honest to a fault, but you're never left wondering what's on Donald Trump's mind. The fight against the Democrats and their dishonest media machine will continue. And if you want to support me in that mission, consider sponsoring me on Patreon, Subscribestar, or PayPal. As a stay-at-home dad, I need this support to continue putting in the work needed to produce this content. YouTube demonetizes just about everything I upload, so the support I get from all of you is critical. Thanks to all of you that have supported me over the years and keep coming back.